There are some inherent dangers that come with playing football. That's all part of the thrill, isn't it? Whether it's a broken bone, a strain or dislocation, a hallmark of playing football is getting back up. And a lot of retired football players will tell you now the sport did a number on their body, but one college player in Seward says a hard hit likely saved his life. Here's the story of Maddox's miracle. A noisy 6 a.m. workout is a welcomed sight for Gothenburg native Maddox Rickertson. I started playing football when I was in third grade. Uh, my dad was my coach. Just fell in love with the game back when I was in third grade and kind of just loved it ever since. It's certainly a different environment than a hospital room. That's a place Maddox is also familiar with. At the end of September, Concordia was squaring off with GPAC rival Briar Cliff. The Bulldogs had lined up for a punt. I was part of like the, the wall and some big guy came running through the hole and I just tried to step up and hit him and he just kind of ran right through and me. You got a block punt. Briar Cliff picks it up. That could be a Charger touchdown. It is. And next thing I know, I just, I mean, I don't really remember the play very well. I just looked up and saw that they were scoring on the other end and went over to the sideline and asked one of my teammates what happened. And he just told me not, he just kind of told me not to feel bad. So I figured it was my fault. And the Bulldogs still lead. Mom, Julie, was at the game. You know, the crowd kind of did the ooh feeling. I thought, well, if something's wrong, like really wrong, then surely I'll, I'll notice or I'll see it. Maddox thought, okay, maybe it's a broken rib. He tried getting back in the game. I didn't have to fight him off, but like it's not uncommon to have to take their helmets from them, you know, because they just, they, they want to play. Despite the punt return for a touchdown, Concordia eked out a win. That weekend, Maddox took it easy. But at practice on Monday, something wasn't right. He had called me, and I think I was at work. And the um, first thing he said was, uh, yeah, don't tell mom, but I think I need to go to the emergency room because I just don't feel good. At the ER, they did some tests. There were no broken rib bones. Rather, they thought it might be some kind of internal bruise. They also found some internal bleeding. Doctors gave him some medicine and said, if it doesn't get better, come back in a week. It didn't get better. Maddox had been passing blood, and when he returned the next week, they decided to try a colonoscopy. This time, Julie was with him. Dr. Kettner comes in, and he actually gets down on his knees, like stands by the bed, like face to face, you know, and, and, and it was then I thought, oh, this, this isn't, this isn't your everything looks good talk. This is your something's very wrong talk. It did not grow into the wall, which is the greatest thing possible. And so what you're seeing here is kind of what it looks There was a tumor about the size of an egg in Maddox's colon. Doctors agreed it was one of the largest tumors they'd ever seen in a person so young. Maddox is just 20. At one point he did, he's like, Dad, you know, what do we do or what should we do? Maddox had been feeling sick and losing weight for about a month, but he figured it was just an illness being passed through the team, and he was adjusting to living in a dorm again. I just wasn't feeling right. I was just kind of losing weight. I felt weak. A little while later, it was time to go to an expert on colon issues. Dr. Langenfeld prescribed music. another colonoscopy so he could look at the tumor himself. Did end up doing what's called endoscopic mucosal resection and, and remove the tumor. Um, we were able to remove the entire thing. For all intents and purposes, Maddox is kind of a miracle. A lot of stars aligned for us to discover a tumor before it's had a chance to cause major problems in somebody that age. Um, Even better news for Maddox. The, the pathology came happening. back that it's his tumor, tumor wasn't cancerous. Uh, it's got admin the story ends a lot differently for a most most 20 year olds that develop a colon tumor. Now Maddox is still on the road to recovery, keeping food down and then gaining weight took quite a while, but he's just glad to be back in the weight room with his teammates who now feel more like brothers. He's excited to be back playing football, but Julie is excited for something else. He is determined to use this for good. Um, and not just in football. You know, I really hope he gets to be back on the field and I hope he stays healthy and, you know, I hope that his scope in, in April is clean and that we get to just move forward. Um, but I just can't wait to see what he gets to do as a person and the lives that he gets to influence.
because of this. And Maddox has a special message for the player on Briarcliff who tackled him on that blocked punt. Yeah, number 28 for Briarcliff saved my life in a way, I guess. So. Everyone agrees Dr. Kettner at Seward's Memorial Hospital is the real hero. He decided to go a little rogue and order that first colonoscopy for the 20 year old. Maddox's parents look at all of this as a fluke from start to finish. They did some genetic testing and it all came back negative. Maddox's words of advice are some we can all take to heart. If you're not feeling well, listen to your mom and see the doctor.